Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we bring you a piece of breaking news from a royal commentator, revealing why is Meghan Markle treated in the US press and tabloid differently than her being treated in the UK. Yes, Meghan is treated differently in the American press as compared to the UK press and tabloids. In the UK, Meghan is reviled since she joined the royal family and turned it into a circus, upsetting citizens along with the royal family. The UK looks up to the monarchy and takes it and its members seriously, and Meghan wasn't prepared for that. At first, the press and tabloids were generally very accepting of Meghan Markle as the fiancé of the popular Prince Harry, though some tabloids raised concerns about the biracial American actress. They were admonished, and generally the press was positive, but only for a short while. Meghan couldn't hide her hatred of being at dull royal events, but she sure wanted that royal wedding. Rumors of being a bridezilla emerged in the UK, but it didn't come out over here. The wedding was the most expensive royal wedding ever, and no, it wasn't just because of security. Meghan wanted everything Catherine had for her wedding to the heir of the throne, and Meghan got it. An over-the-top wedding in a church with a blusher bridal veil and a Givenchy wedding dress, with Prince Harry dissolving into tears. The wedding was viewed with a skeptical eye to some in the UK, but the US made it sound like our Meghan was doing everything perfectly and all were enchanted by her. So, while the breaches of protocol, royal rules, and leading Harry around by the hand were noticed and disliked in his home, the US was slower in picking it up. So I began paying attention to news coming out of Great Britain, and I was astonished at what Meghan was doing over there. She was most certainly not a good duchess, and she acted like she was the reigning royal. At home, some magazines would pick up on the negativity surrounding Meghan since her staff had begun dropping like flies, and that's hard to hide. After the horrible Instagram post read round the world at the same time the palace saw it, Meghan is disliked, loathed, and every wrong move she still makes, and she has a knack for it, finds its way into both the UK media and the tabloids. Rightly so. But I had to resort to following those magazines and reading online about Meghan, because the US treated Meghan as a celebrity, just the way they had portrayed Diana, the once Princess of Wales. We didn't know any better, but I did at this point. How? I subscribed to several UK publications and had read a few books that demonstrated what being a British royal is like and what is expected of them. I knew Meghan was causing problems, and by the time she and Harry aired their grievances on their documentary of their trip to South Africa, even the US couldn't manage to paint a pretty picture of how Meghan was the perfect royal duchess. We knew that title belonged to anyone other than the disappointing American. Today, the UK wants Harry, and certainly Meghan, to lose all titles, all funding from Dear Daddy Charles, and no help with security either. The UK would not be a safe place for Meghan to live, as she's that reviled. I stand with the UK's view of her. Meghan is a spoiled brat who walked in and absconded with an expensive wedding, expensive clothes and shoes, expensive taste in decorating Frogmore Cottage, and then went to live a life of luxury. She's not a royal. She's repugnant. The US did finally catch up after Meghan flew to hide in Canada, and then Harry left his family for Meghan and stardom. Only one magazine still tries to paint Meghan and Harry as successful celebrities who are loving life in the US with Archie and their dogs. People Magazine. But all the other tabloids and magazines now report on Meghan looking strange, Harry looking awful, and how they aren't liked by most Americans any longer because of their terrible, entitled attitudes. People Magazine may try to fleece us, but we have the internet these days, and so we gather our news from many sources. It wasn't this way when People Magazine spoon-fed us the poor little Princess Diana wronged by the royals yet loved by all. Now we read books on Diana and realize she was a complicated woman who was tough to deal with. Had we known how truly manipulative Diana was, she wouldn't have had the chance to become the People's Princess. All would have known about her being fickle and using the paps just like Meghan Markle does. Celebs these days cannot hide. 
a cell phone is always around. People do have drones, and I have read that Megan didn't like the drones, but not because of little Archie's privacy. But that's for another day. These days, the U.S. generally recognizes that Harry made a mistake in leaving, but only one magazine, People, loves Megan four ways to Sunday, meaning Megan is perfection itself and the rest of the world is wrong. Sadly, what People magazine doesn't know is we royal watchers are onto their lies and we get our royal fix elsewhere by people who act like royalty and still remain true royals in the UK, where all real royals reside. I know there exists a discrepancy. Members of the Sussex squad burned down a woman's house last week, killing her pets in the fire. She spoke out against the Sussexes because of who they pretend to be versus who they actually are. And right after that fire, Harry and Meghan publicly praised a member of that Sussex squad that spews murder threats against people who speak against Harry and Meghan. Crazy? No, it's the truth. And Harry and Meghan are responsible for the pain of that woman and for all of us who are publicly trolled. Oh my God, Meghan's loveys are pyromaniacs. That's so wrong. How would they like it if their homes were set on fire? Their pets murdered in cold blood. This is just pure evil. Just because someone has spoken out against Duchess Difficult doesn't mean go and burn their house down. I can't believe that Harry would endorse this kind of behavior. I hope whoever they are, that they get long prison sentences. So this kind of behavior is not tolerated that. Imagine that, People Magazine. Cover that. Cover the burned down home with dead animals due to remnants having a false image of Megan, while People Magazine congratulates and continues to promulgate death and pain and hate against the realists because they don't show the truth. And Megan and Harry gush about how these violent people are amazing and wonderful. No, they're not. They're scary as hell. And it's one thing to try and ban Megan's realists from social networks, but it crosses a deadly line when her squad kills animals and burns houses in her name. Two have been burned in just a week. That's the difference between the UK and the US, where true hate speech isn't taken seriously by the media or the two people propagating it, Harry and Meghan. I doubt that that occurs in the UK. It's okay to like dislike Meghan, but it's not so over here. Right now, if Americans speak out against the faux duchess, they are putting their very lives on the line. I'm not kidding, and I wish I were. Last time I looked, we still did have freedom of speech, and I call it the way I see it. People Magazine can protect Meghan until the lawsuit calls them to account, and I am very much looking forward to that day. Have you noticed how mayhem and anti-establishment virtue signaling follows this woman from continent to continent? Jumping on political causes with murky objectives? Destabilizing constitutions? A magnet for the disenfranchised or otherwise anti? I wonder where all this money is coming from for this covert but oftentimes overt putsch. And these, her devoted camp followers, are just the tip of the iceberg. A royal fan also expressed this opinion. As a Brit, I really liked Meghan when she first appeared on my radar. A modern woman for our beloved Harry. She was changing him in a positive way. She was discouraging his love of shooting and hunting. She loved her rescue dogs. As an animal lover, these were major points in her favor. How things have appeared to change. The reckless spending and the putting up of the international finger at the British public figures infuriates me. Plus, her apparent disrespect of the Queen and the royal family certainly does nothing to endear her to me. Harry has gone way down in my estimation, and I just hope that the Queen and Prince Charles deal with the situation very soon and very quickly. The monarchy will survive, but they have some work to do. William and Catherine are the ones who will save our monarchy. Thank goodness for them and others, such as the Countess of Wessex and the Royal Princess. Another fan from the U.S. had this to say. 
I have a good friend here in Chicago and you absolutely cannot say the slightest thing against Megan or she will fly into a rage. My friend is also biracial, so this may partially explain her defensive attitude. I just happened to point out on the phone about how Megan did not seem to take her Duchess Royals very seriously while she was with the Royals in England. And my friend verbally assaulted me and actually called me a racist. I couldn't believe it and I more or less hung up on her. We have since mended our friendship, but it is peculiar how some people defend Megan like their very lives depend on it. They are that passionate. She seems to think that Megan is not at fault in any way whatsoever, no matter what evidence is pointed out, and thinks that poor Megan has been horribly treated by the royals and is a complete victim of racism. It's just sickening and disturbing that people won't look at the situation in a rational way, but are very quick to cry racism no matter what she does. How about you? What do you think about all this? Please let us know in the comment section below. And as always, subscribe to our channel for all the latest news on the royal family and Meghan Markle right here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.